Since we went away for the holidays, the U.S. has been dealing with the aftermath of Russia's interference in the presidential election. And in the last few days, like a video on Worldstar, things have escalated quickly. The White House today striking back against Russia for interfering in the U.S. election. The president taking executive action to expel 35 Russian intelligence operatives. President Putin announced there will be no retaliation, saying we will not create any problems for U.S. diplomats. We will not expel anyone. Putin even issued this invitation to American children. In response to the new U.S. sanctions, I invite all children of the U.S. diplomats to the New Year and Christmas children. Show at the Kremlin. Signed, yours sincerely, Vladimir Putin. Okay, now, now the news said that Putin did not retaliate, but in my opinion, those actions are the ultimate retaliation. <laughs> Telling someone they have to stay in Russia, that is punishment. I bet you American diplomats were like, oh, so I guess we also have to leave. And he was like, no, no, you stay. <laughs> you stay. And the kids, imagine the kids. Christmas at the Kremlin? <laughs> That is the worst way to spend Christmas ever. Can you imagine kids telling, what did you do for Christmas? I spent it at the Kremlin. <laughs> was it fun? It was at the Kremlin! <laughs> but if you think about it, why would Putin respond? Obama has less than three weeks left in office, at which point Putin's new bestie takes over. Uh, or to put it another way, in a tweet Friday afternoon, Trump said, great move on delay by V. Putin. I always knew he was very smart. You know, my favorite part of that tweet is you know that Trump has no idea how to spell Vladimir. <laughs> so he didn't just, like, he didn't try at all. He was just like, great move on delay by V L uh, v Vlad, Vlad, <laughs> by V period Putin. <laughs> so here's where we are. Russia hacked uh, the election. Well, they didn't, they didn't hack the election. What they did was they had a phishing thing that Podesta clicked and it's not hacking. Hacking is a high level thing. They got the Democrats. Obama basically put Russia in a timeout, and Putin was like, well, I like timeout. So, now the conversation about cybersecurity in America is left up to this guy. What do you think generally about sanctions against Russia? I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think that computers have complicated lives very greatly. Uh, the whole, you know, age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what's going on. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention to anything Trump said. I was too busy staring at Don King. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing the entire Statue of Liberty souvenir shop. What is he doing? <laughs> like, say what you want, but for a guy in his 80s, he sure knows how to rock a Mount Rushmore jean jacket. I mean, that guy is just, he's just killing it. All right, sorry, let, let's try this again. Uh, Trump, how do you know that computers are so dangerous? I have a boy who's 10 years old. He can do anything with a computer. He turned my screen into an aquarium. <laughs> what dark magic is this? <laughs> but Trump thinks he knows a lot about computers, especially how to hack them. I know a lot about hacking, and hacking is a very hard thing to prove. So it could be somebody else. And I also know things that other people don't know, and so they cannot be sure of the situation. Like, like what? Do you, what do you know? You know about an international espionage incident and you're not gonna tell us now? <laughs> Donald Trump has lived inside a reality show for so long, he's just like sea-cresting national security information right now. <laughs> the United States has just declared war and I'll tell you with who right after the break. <laughs> hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked that video, click here to subscribe. Just keep the mouse pointer away from my face, please. Don't, no, don't, here, click here to sub, not, not my face. Click here. Please. Please, that looks... Don't do that. That's sharp. That's sharp. Click here to subscribe.